Hey guys, welcome to my channel. It's Susie here. Um, in today's video, I wanted to talk about my weight loss journey or my progress um, trying to lose weight. It's one of the reasons why I started a YouTube channel is to document my progress, um, just to help me keep on track um, with my goals and be more accountable for what I'm doing. The background of what I have done and where I'm at and what I'm planning to do. Um, in the past, um, yeah, I've tried a lot of different programs, diets, workouts and all that sort of thing. Um, some helped me, some didn't. Um, a lot of it I just probably couldn't maintain it for a long period of time. And you know, I've always been overweight my whole life. Um, it's not like a slowly progressed into being overweight. I've always been overweight. Um, a few years ago, uh, about three and a half years ago, I joined Jenny Craig. Um, cause I just I didn't realise how big I had gotten at that time, but when I weighed in with Jenny, I was 100.2 100 kilos, which I think is over 200 and something pounds. I can't, I don't really know. I'll put it somewhere. And um, that was, for me, the biggest I have ever been in my life. I used to fluctuate between, I think, around 85 kg, and I had ballooned up to that much. And it was kind of depressing at the time when you notice that number on the scale and think far out, where did all that, where did that come from? So, um, but uh, with Jenny it was, it was a quite easy, um, if anyone wants to know more about that program, um, I could do a separate video if you want. For me I didn't even know really what it was all about. But it was easy, it's like they give you your food, uh, it's basically like a calorie count, they figure out how many calories you need to lose weight and you buy the food from them, plus some extras from the supermarket and you just read your menu every day saying this is what you have for lunch breakfast, you know, breakfast, lunch, dinner and your snacks and it was quite easy that way um, I lost, I think, to begin with I was losing over a kilo about one and a half kilos every week um, I got to about, I think, the 10 kilo mark um, my goal was to lose 15, and those last five I really struggled with, and a lot of that came down to um, self-sabotage and things like that. Um, you know, I ate off plan, I had cheat days, whereas with Jenny you don't actually get a cheat day, because some of the the foods you get in there is like you get ice cream, you get chocolate, you get um, like lasagnas and things like that, so they do have a mixture of foods in there. And I found I was never, I was never hungry actually on Jenny. The thing is, when I first started on Jenny, they put me on a high, it was, I was on a high calorie count, mainly because that, that's just how it worked out, you know, I was this weight, and if you take off so many calories, then that'll help you lose, but it was still too much, it was more food than I could, could eat, so they dropped it down even further for me. I think that's one thing that I got from the Jenny program, was how much food you can eat and still lose weight which I was, you know, you think I oh, eat less and you'd lose, but not really. That doesn't always work out like that. So that's a lot, uh, for me, yeah, the Genie program just provided me with a lot more knowledge on food and nutrition, you know, and just being, con you know, if you're consistent with eating everything on the plan, then you'll get your results. Whereas the weeks where I didn't eat everything or I didn't drink enough water and stuff like that, especially water intake, was a water, I still struggle with water. Um, the days that I stuck to it 100%, I lost more, and the days where I, the weeks that I didn't, well, I I didn't lose as much as I wanted. Um, so yeah, the, the last, so I lost 10 kilos pretty easy, then the last 5 was really hard, it was a struggle. And I think we kind of, I stopped doing the Jenny program, I'm on maintenance now anyway. But for, I think I did the Jenny full time for a couple years, and then... The last five I struggled with, I kind of got stuck between in that certain 3kg zone where I just couldn't break it no matter um, you know what I did really. I was just stuck there at that plateau and then only last year I did the Junk Free June where I had no processed foods, no sugar, no takeaways, no bread, no fizzy drink. I um, can't remember what else was there. I'll put a list somewhere of what, what I didn't have for a whole month I was able to stick to it which I'm amazed at because I've tried to do it again a couple other times after that and I can't I just 
I don't get to do like day 14 and then I go back to eating like normal. But, um, but anyway, with the when I did the drink free June, I, I lost over three and a half kgs, which got me out of that plateau and I got to my goal of 85 kilos, which is what I wanted to do. And since then, I've been able to maintain it. So that was June last year, it's now February 2017. So um, I've been able to maintain a, my 85 since then. Well, actually, I, I did I had weigh in this morning with Jenny Craig, and I'm 83.3 kilos. Um, so yeah, I've been able to maintain staying below the 85 as well, which has been pretty good. And that's just come down to since doing the junk free June, I'm just a bit more conscious of what I'm eating, um, especially sugar. You know, everyone says sugar's bad for you and stuff like that. I mean, oh, I still did eat fruit while I was on the junk free June, um, and dates, a lot of dried dates, well not dates, I may eat foosballs which are, they're a mixture of like dates and nuts and things like that. So since doing Junk Free June I'm just a bit more conscious of what I'm eating, especially packet food. I really try not to eat uh, pre-packaged foods these days. I try and keep my diet more clean than anything. But I mean things I, I would eat that are packaged, uh, past sauces, tuna, not really pasta, I had, was eating pasta a bit, but and rice and stuff like that. I'm trying not to, but sometimes you do. That's what I've sort of done in the past, is my Jenny Craig program, which has got me to a point where I, I'm a bit more knowledgeable about nutrition and, and exercise and how it all would work for me. Currently what I'm doing is um, just trying to be consistent with um, my food and my nutrition. Like I said, I'm trying to be more clean when I eat, just trying to stick to more meat and veggies. Um, also trying to reduce my sugar intake again, but this time I'm trying to do it a bit more slowly, rather than just, just cut off everything. I'm just trying to be a bit more, um, just lean my, wean myself off it. For example, I found a tip on YouTube where um, we, if you're buying packaged food, make sure it's 5 grams per 100 grams, or 5 grams or less per 100 grams for sugar. So I've been, um, yeah, just reading my la labels on food packaging now more than I used to. Um, especially with coffee. Coffee's mainly the thing that I would add sugar to. Um, I don't have one teaspoon of sugar in my coffee, but I might have three or four coffees a day. So I've tried to, I've gone more on to drinking um, the packet lattes or cappuccino type coffees. Um, some of them are pretty um, low in, they've got the low five grams or less sugar. So I've been drinking those in replace of just instant coffee with with sugar because instant coffee and so is pretty gross as well. So um, that's what I've been doing over the last couple of weeks and stuff. Um, exercise wise I haven't done a lot um, at all. I just I was being okay for a few couple of weeks and then the last week and a half I've just been like oh I can't be bothered and I just haven't done anything and yeah, but so just trying to motivate myself to get back into the groove of that. Um, the future, what what I'm planning to do, like what do I want to get out of this year in particular, 2017? Um, I set myself a goal for being to try and get to 65 kilos, which seems that like, I kind of seems like undoable, really or impossible, but I'm going to try and get there anyway. But the my main goal isn't really to to focus on the scale. Um, I want to try more or less fat loss and build muscle. Um, my biggest area that I want to lose from is my stomach because it's, it's really quite big. Uh, it's like a huge spare tire around there that I, I just want to try and reduce that as much as I can and just build muscle and like have nice muscular arms that sort of thing. It's more what I want to focus on this year is just changing the shape of my body rather than my weight. But yeah like I said that's something I want to achieve by the end of the year so at the moment I'm in February so it's mind you the year could go pretty fast and I'll just be blink of an eye and be like wow I've done nothing. Um, yesterday um, at work we had a weigh in at work because we started a Biggest Loser Challenge for six weeks, a six week one which is going to help me stay on track for the next six weeks at least and it's good timing because I have a um, friend's wedding in April, yeah April, her wedding's on the 1st of April so the next six weeks I'm going to be hard out trying to 
not good in a dress for that. <laughs> um, and yeah, so um, this would be my first entry or like weight loss transformation diary entry as I'll probably call them. Um, and yeah, I'll just I'm making more videos updating you on my progress and what I'm doing, um, meal prep and um, exercise that I've been doing. Um, food wise, I do plan out my meals every week, um, mainly because I work shift work. So on the days that I work, I don't really want to come home and cook because I work 12 hours a day and by the time I get home I just can't be stuffed doing any cooking. So um, I can show you some of that as well. If there's any other questions that you want to know, especially about Jenny Craig program or just what I'm doing to maintain or keep motivated, um, let me know in the description box below. Um, please like and subscribe to my channel. Um, I'll be putting out other videos on crafts and uh, cooking and stuff like that. So yeah, if there's anything else you want to know, just let me know in the description box below and I'll check you in the next video.